In this video, we see Paul Morphy's amazing game. This game was played in 1849 in USA. In this game, Paul Morphy play with white pieces and the Rosseu Emmanuel play with black pieces. So Paul Morphy started with e4 and the black replies with e5. f4 king's gambit. He takes f4 king's gambit accepted. Knight f3 g5. h4 g4. So Paul Morphy move his knight on g5 and sacrifice his knight because knight has no mouse after h6 or f6 and this is called Olgair Gambit so black continue with h6 so Paul Morphy sacrifice his knight knight takes f7 and pressure on queen and rook so black accept the knight king takes knight queen takes g4 queen f6 bishop c4 check so now king couldn't move to g file and if black continue with d5 then bishop takes d5 and check in the same time pressure on queen so if black move his bishop between bishop and the king then queen h5 and the check and if black move his queen on g6 then bishop takes bishop comes but black couldn't take this bishop because after moving king black would lose his support on queen so black would lose his queen and if black move his king then bishop takes g7 comes and the black would lose his rook but black continue with king e7 and now in this position could paul morphy take this knight Let's see, if Paul Morphy take this knight, then h5 comes and the queen can't stay on g file. So after moving queen, black could take this bishop. So after moving king, Paul Morphy continue with knight c3. So Paul Morphy's next threat is knight d5 and create fork on queen. So black continue with c6 and prevent knight d5 so paul morphy continue his attack e5 and sacrifice his pawn queen takes e5 check king d1 so paul morphy sacrifice his pawn to open this e file so paul morphy want to join his rook into attack so next threat is rook e1 and pin this queen so black continue with king to prevent this threat but Paul Morphy move his rook on e1 and create pressure on queen. So black move his queen on c5. Black could move his queen on g7 and save his knight. But after rook e1 black continue with queen c5. So finally, Paul Morphy take black's knight. Bishop takes knight d5. So black create pressure on queen. And here, in this position, pause the video and think what is the next move of Paul Morphy. If you find the move, congrats. And before continue, most of viewers didn't subscribe the channel. So please subscribe the channel. If you like the game, so Paul Morphy continue with rook e8 and check and sacrifice his rook. So now king can't move to c7 because after king c7, rook takes bishop comes and check and then king has only two options. If black move his king on b6, then knight a4 comes and black would lose his queen with fork and if black move his king on d6 then checkmate comes queen e6 and the mate so black accept the rook sacrifice king takes rook and after moving king black lose his support from king on bishop 
So Paul Morphy take this bishop. Queen takes bishop and check. And the king has only one move. King e7. And here in this position, pause the video for last time and think what is the next move of Paul Murphy. If you find the move, congrats. So Paul Murphy continue with knight takes d5 and check. And now king has only one move, king d6. Black couldn't capture this knight with his pawn because this queen is hanging. So black would lose his queen. And also black couldn't take this knight with his queen because bishop supports this knight. So black would lose his queen. So black can't capture this knight. So black move his king on d6 and the final move queen c7 and the checkmate king has no moves and also paul morphy could checkmate black's king with queen e6 because c7 square is covered with knight but after king d6 paul morphy move his queen on c7 and the checkmate 